Tech giant Google announced it will let employees work from home till July 2021 for roles that do not need to be in office. According to reports, Google CEO Sundar Pichai announced the plan in an email shared with employees on Monday. It seems like tech companies are bracing for a long pandemic and other companies may follow suit. Google was among the first few companies to allow remote working when the WHO declared COVID-19 outbreak as a pandemic on 11th March. With the new plan in place, the company hopes to give increased flexibility to its employees to care for themselves and their loved ones over the next year. U.S. sports and fitness tracker company Garmin has confirmed that its five-day major outage was caused by a ransomware attack. The company said that it was hit by a cyber attack on July 23rd that encrypted some of our systems and interrupted several online services, including website functions, customer support, customer-facing applications, and company communications. Garmin said that it had no indication that customer data was accessed, lost, or stolen, and that the services are now being restored. Qualcomm has announced its latest fast charging standard, the Quick Charge 5, that claims to power up a 4,500 mAh battery from 0 to 50% in 5 minutes or fully charge it in 15 minutes. The company promises more than 100 watt charging speeds on a smartphone and says that the Quick Charge 5 is up to 70% more efficient than its predecessor while keeping the battery 10 degrees Celsius cooler. The Quick Charge 5 also offers backward compatibility with QC2 and later could arrive in smartphones from the third quarter of this year. Samsung's upcoming mid-ranger, the Galaxy M31s, has been confirmed to arrive in India on July 30th. But ahead of the launch, tipster Ishan Agarwal has said that the smartphone will come with 6GB RAM with 128GB storage and 8GB RAM with 128GB storage options. The phone will reportedly feature a 6.5-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED Infinity O display, a 64-megapixel Quadra camera setup and a 32-megapixel selfie camera. Additionally, the smartphone will be equipped with the Exynos 9611 chipset and a 6000 mAh battery with support for 25 watt fast charging. The Samsung Galaxy M31s is expected to cost around 20,000 rupees. Vivo V19 has received a 4000 rupees price cut barely 2 months after its launch in India. This brings the effective price of the smartphone down to 24,990 rupees for the base 8 GB RAM 128 GB storage model. To recall, the smartphone features a 6.44-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with a dual hole punch and runs on the Snapdragon 712 processor. There's a quad camera setup on the back with a 48-megapixel primary sensor and the front camera setup is a 32-megapixel sensor coupled with a secondary 8-megapixel sensor. It's powered by a 4500mAh battery with 33W flash charge 2.0 support. Chinese smartphone maker Oppo has confirmed that its Reno4 Pro smartphone will debut in India on July 31st in an AR-powered launch. It was launched in China last month with the Snapdragon 765G chipset, a 6.5-inch curved 90Hz display and HDR10+. The company had earlier said that the Reno4 Pro will come with localized features for users in India. The smartphone is expected to come with a 48-megapixel triple rear camera setup with OIS and 5x hybrid zoom support. It packs a 4000 mAh mAh battery with 65 watt super flash charge fast charging. The Oppo Reno4 Pro starts at 3,799 yuan for the 8GB 128GB model in China. The Realme C15 is the latest addition to the company's C-series lineup in Indonesia. The successor to the Realme C11 features a 6.5-inch HD Plus Mini Drop display and a MediaTek Helio G35 chipset coupled with up to 4GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 128GB of storage. There's a 13-megapixel quadrio camera setup, an 8-megapixel selfie shooter and a 6000mAh battery that supports 18 watt fast charging. The smartphone boots Android 10-based Realme UI 1.0 out of the box and has a fingerprint scanner on the back. The Realme C15 has gone on sale in Indonesia for roughly 10,300 rupees for the base 3GB RAM, 64GB storage model, but the Indian availability hasn't been confirmed yet. Xiaomi has launched the Redmi 9A in China after announcing it globally a couple of weeks ago. The affordable smartphone features a 6.53-inch HD Plus IPS LCD display with a water drop notch. It's powered by the MediaTek Helio G25 chipset paired with 4GB RAM and 64GB of expandable storage. There's a single 13-megapixel shooter at the back and an LED flash as well as a 5-megapixel selfie camera. The smartphone boots MIUI 12 based Android 10 OS and comes with a 5000mAh battery that supports 10 watt charging. The Redmi 9A costs 599 yuan in China but the Indian pricing and availability hasn't been revealed yet.